This isn't a joke. Oh man. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video all on high school, how I'm surviving my junior year of high school. If you don't know, I'm a junior in high school. Um, just tips and tricks for high school, how I'm preparing for college, what I'm doing right now. A lot of you guys wanted to hear videos about college, videos about high school. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing that. Also, yes, dyed my hair. I'm in the process of going platinum blonde with my hair. We're in phase one here. Um, I love the way it looks so far. Um, there was a huge uproar in the comments last time I dyed my hair of like people who liked it, people who didn't like it. So just know whether or not you like it, I love it. So cool. All right, let's just get started with the stuff I have. So I'm going to go over first thing I'm going to go over is my planning regime. How I plan out what I'm going to be doing each week because I think that is one of the most important skills if you're going into high school, if you're in high school, if you're in college, one of the biggest things I recommend to students to do is plan because once you plan you can see a complete accurate overview of everything you need to get done. The way that I um, make sure I know everything that I need to get done is I have two methods of doing this. You can have one, you can have two, you can have 14, as long as you have at least one. First thing is this little weekly list from Rifle Paper Company. I absolutely love Rifle Paper Company. I'm obsessed. And so I purchased this and essentially it lists out all the days of the week and then it gives you space to write down everything on it. So this is kind of like a planner, but it's a super simplified planner. So if you find that you get overwhelmed with a lot of planners, pick up one of these and try it. I think this is like $18, something like that. It has 52 weeks in it, so every um, week of the year with you. But if you want a more portable planner, <laughs> this one is great. This is my uh, Lily Pulitzer planner. I've had an Erin Condren, but I actually really love this one a lot. It gives me maximum amount of space. Um, I tried to link this down below in my last video, but this print is actually sold out for the rest of the year. So when she releases her new ones come the end of summer, I think she'll release some new ones because come like um, time for school years and things like that. So just wait it out till summer. But I think this is like splish splash print or something like that. I listed it down below. But this is the large. This is the largest one you can buy. And I absolutely love this. However, I know there are people who don't just because it doesn't fit in your purse. If you're a girl or a guy who wants your planner to fit in your purse, this is not it. I mean, you can get a smaller size of this, but the large planner will be too big for you. I think this is definitely a step in the right direction. Even if you don't have a planner or money to purchase a planner, a notebook will work just fine. Just make sure you have somewhere that you can keep track of everything because otherwise these assignments will, you'll think about doing them and then you'll forget about it and then you'll never remember because it doesn't come back up. All right, so next part is gonna be about AP classes. So if you are someone who is not in high school or you're coming into high school, um, AP colleges are blah, 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 blah. AP classes are advanced placement classes. They are classes that will you take the class for the entire year and then come the end of the year you take a test and you get to see if you get college credit for the class. If you don't get college credit for the class you just get your high school credit for it. So either way you're gonna get high school credit for it but if you pass the um, final test that they give at the end of the year you will get college credit. And that's through like your state, through your school, they'll tell you when the test is. But as far as keeping up with those, it can be very daunting. First thing, like I said, planning. But second of all, prioritizing. It's really important that you realize that usually AP classes are going to be a lot more time consuming, not just because of the detail of your work, but the amount of work. Usually the most work I get is obviously from my AP classes because they're supposed to be like college classes. So if you are trying to like get around a lot of things in high school and just like skate by, AP classes are probably not for you, um, but I actually really enjoy taking them. I've loved the teachers that I've had that taught me AP classes. As far as preparing yourself for AP classes, sign up for Quizlet, which is a website that you can basically make your own cards for, like flashcards, if you enjoy doing that. Also, buy flashcards. There's something in your brain that we do learn this in psychology, but I don't remember what the exact term for it is. Go me. Um, anyways. Uh, you there's just a part of your brain that helps memorize when you write things down So if you ever have a problem remembering something just keep writing it keep writing it keep writing it so 
get some flashcards, sign up for Quizlet, also get the app Self Control. Um, essentially, if you have a Mac, it's Self Control. If you have a PC, I think it's called Cold Turkey. And basically, you type in all your social medias. I talked about this before, but you type in all your social medias and it will block them for a specific amount of time. So if you want to study for two and a half hours, you click the timer for two and a half hours, you click enter, and it shuts, like, it does not let you access them. I've tried it on my Google Chrome, Safari, like, anything. It is such a godsend when you are in the heat of finals week or when you need to be doing your project and you really want to, like, check your social media. Um, that is a great resource. Also, Spotify. I have a Spotify playlist full of instrumental, like, ballad music that is perfect for studying because if you keep music in the background that's kind of mainstream, that has a lot of words in it, sometimes it's just hard to focus. My playlist has a lot of Tchaikovsky. It has some, um, Beethoven, but it also has, like, some soundtracks. I have a little bit of the Interstellar soundtrack on it. The thing, I keep my notebooks. I know that a lot of schools have lockers. My old school had lockers. My new school does not have lockers, so some people like to keep things in lockers, but I would recommend, this is not a five, um, I mean a three subject notebook, but I would recommend for your AP classes, get a three subject notebook only because of how many notes you're going to be taking. And it's nice to just have one notebook. I wish I would have just stuck with one. I kept like this one and this one and, this, and all these different notebooks. If you just have one that has enough pages, I can guarantee you will not run out of pages if you have a three subject notebook for one class. So note taking. First thing. I want to mention are these little flags from post-it so one says to do one says study and one says on test these things are fantastic okay so I have a teacher who always mentions what's gonna be on our test like we always know what's gonna be on the test so I love using these but it, just because you don't have a teacher that tells you this is gonna be on the test if they are constantly talking about one thing and they're saying you probably should know this you probably it's probably gonna be on the test and you should probably know it so either one of these um, would be great I love just sticking these in a book or in my notes or anything like that so when I'm running over them right before the test or the night before it's super easy for whatever it is I'm looking for anything that needs to be on the test and they're such bright colors that they're perfect I love these things these are great um, another way, obviously, highlighting. You don't need to go out and get fancy post-it notes if you just got a highlighter. These things are great. Those Studying those notes that you took, definitely, definitely, definitely start studying three or four days in advance for the test. The night before is going to be so stressful because you're going to be like, I don't know this. I need more time. Why didn't I start studying? Every time I start studying the night before, I'm like, man, should not have done this. Don't do that. Just, like... I know sometimes you're just like, I don't want to study, but what I usually like to do is, um, like four days before that night, like four days before the test, the night of four days before, now that I can't say this, I make a study guide. So I type up everything I think I need to know, anything my teacher mentioned, anything I think is important, any notes that I took out of our book, anything that I feel like I should know, I type into a study guide. I print it out, staple it, put it on my computer, go to bed. Then the next day, I go through it, highlight anything I think is super important, like super, super important that made it through. Then I will go over it probably for 15, 20 minutes, put it away, go do something else. Then the next day, I will go over it hardcore, make sure I know most of the information, make any flashcards for anything that I don't know. Next day, this is the night before the test. You need to be memorizing all your flashcards. Um, if you don't know anything out of those flashcards, pull those out and go over those more and more and more and more. And then look over your study guide again. If you don't know anything, you should be studying that now. Next day, you should be ready for the test. I did because I'm going to be a senior. And ever since freshman year, people have been thinking that I'm a senior. So finally, I'm going to be the grade everyone thinks I actually am. So... So those were a few of my tips. I hope those helped. If they did, give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and I apologize if any of my videos are sporadic for the next like week or so. I'm in the heat of finals week, like I said. I have a bunch of projects doing things like that, so if I don't happen to get a video up, I apologize. But after that, it's summer, and I'm gonna be putting up some bomb videos. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you back here later.